This demo will walk through the steps of email settings and modifying templates within the PIA Virtual Terminal. To begin, select the option for Configuration, Email Notifications, General Email Settings. On the Settings screen, you are going to see multiple options for customization, including one-time transaction settings, recurring transaction settings, credit card expiration notification settings, and batch close notification settings. Within each of these, you have the option to enter email addresses and select various email me preferences. When you come to the screen, the email address for the admin on the account will automatically be populated. However, you do have the opportunity to change the email address or even add multiple email addresses. If you would like to add multiple email addresses, simply separate them via a semicolon. Here, you can, also like, you can also select the options if you would like to be emailed for various notifications. Make sure the box is checked if you would like to be notified. The same steps will be completed for recurring and credit card expiration notification settings. There are additional settings for batch close notifications, including no email, email me generic, email me genmark, and email me transaction review export format. Once you have selected all of the settings, you can click update and you will receive a message in the upper right hand confirming your changes. Next, we will look at customizing the order confirmation emails. On this screen, you will see the template for these emails. If you scroll down, on the left-hand side of the screen are various template fields that can be added to customize this message. If you would like to customize, copy the first line Go to the body of the message. Enter a common name so you know what the field is for. And paste the field. You can do this with as many fields as necessary. Here we will also add the merchant address. Again, follow the same steps. Copy, enter a common name, and then paste the new field. When you are complete, select the Update Template button, and you will receive confirmation that the template has been updated. If you no longer wish to use these changes, you can restore the default. Click Yes to do so. To finish up, you can also go through the same steps for credit card recurring, virtual check order confirmation, and virtual check recurring confirmation. You have now successfully completed the steps for email and notification settings within the PIA Virtual Terminal.